WSW. Are you ready, Steph? I sure am, BJ. The last time we talked to our next guest, we chatted about how he likes to spit rhymes from time to time. <laughs> so do I. Hit it, Rev. Oh, okay. Ocho. Uno. No, so, Huck fans, y'all know he's number 81. Un hombre mucho bueno. There's not a corner that can handle a dude like him. Give him the ball, we're gonna win. He goes, uno, dos, tres, cuatro, yardos. 12th man scream, forward scoro. In 06, Maxim says he's the best draft athlete. Ladies say he's muy caliente. <laughs> Ocho. <laughs> Uno. Please welcome to the show from your Seattle Seahawks, Nate Burleson. <laughs> That's some Spanglish right there. Hey, I like that, man. <laughs> That's I tell horrible. You what. what are you saying? In my years of wow. being on this earth, I've never been introduced like that, and that is always going to be the number one for now. <laughs> I guarantee it. I need that. I need that on my highlight tape. I don't know. Make sure we got that. I'm not walking out of here with that, without that on disc. That's awesome. You can like do that at Canton if you want. And, oh, you know, oh, in a exactly. couple of years. I can sure. do that, yeah. yeah. I feel like I died a How about bit. we play that when I score a touchdown at Quest Field? Uh, and I'll just come out right in the middle? No, that's what I'm saying. That would be man. awesome. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the thunder and the, and the seagulls dancing. With your Adidas jumpsuit on. Just, uh, yo, yo, yo. <laughs> <laughs> Hold and on, I can go shirtless like Gerardo. Oh, no, I don't know no, about no, that no, one. No. No. That yeah, might be a little not. too much. He's got freakishly large nipples, too. Man. <laughs> yeah, they're abnormally Parking large. Cones. Yeah. <laughs> can we <laughs> like posters for your beer? Can we stay away from Steve's bodily? Uh, can we do that? Presence? Yeah. yeah. I mean, really. You know sure. what? I'm sorry, Nate. That was terrible. <laughs> I <don't> practiced <laughs> it more than once. That was good. I like wow. it. I like it, man. Well, yeah. there you go. Uh, His heart was in the right place. It was. Yeah, it was. On Thought paper, it sounded awesome. Okay. Yeah. Well, Nate, it's good to have you in studio i appreciate you taking the time uh we had a great time talking with you a couple weeks ago and of course uh from what i understand man these uh, these uh celebrity basketball games for charity have just been amazing the uh, the last one was how many overtimes was it one overtime one overtime oh. going crazy geez which is a, it ended with what, like about four in the morning what was it i mean <laughs> yeah, i mean that was a, that was a heck of a contest yeah, it was like an and one mixtape basketball game out there, man. These young kids from Bellingham was out there throwing balls between our legs and doing all kind of moves we only see on TV. <laughs> um, but it was, it was good, man. The funny thing about it was we didn't really know what to expect. You know, we're going out to Bellingham. We're sitting on this bus, you know, relaxing, having a good time. And then we pull up to the gym, and we're smelling popcorn. We're seeing cheerleaders in the crowd spilling out through the stands, and everybody actually felt like they're in high school again. And we got serious. We got in that locker room, and Coach Deion Brands was yelling at us like, y'all better get your minds right. Like, we're not losing to these little boys out here. So, uh, you know, it, it was it was intense, man. It was intense. That's it was awesome. It was, and, 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 and they actually, for the halftime show, they had, uh, they had like, this, this award-winning drill team come out and do this dance. <laughs> and who was it that wanted to stick around and watch? Because I think... Yeah, so what it was, the, the, the team was like, can you guys watch us, you know, perform? And, you know, it was like half of us went in the locker room, another half stayed. And Dion gets in the locker room and only half of us are there. So he walks out in this Phil Jackson mode and he's like, why don't y'all get your asses in the locker room? And he's like, what y'all... You, you know what this looks like? We support another team right now. Get, 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 get in the locker room. So I'm like, all right, coach, relax a little bit. Yeah. But it, it was intense, man. But it was funny, though. He really embraced the coaching role, and we had a good time, and it seemed like the fans did, too. You still going to be running kicks back? Yeah, I'm going to try to do everything, man. We need some electricity in that in yeah. the stadium, man. And I, I know when I'm back there, um, I'm trying to get to the end zone every single Take time. Take it to the house. You know what I'm saying? That's Come what I'm on. trying to do. 90-yard so Nate is what somebody called me <laughs> out there on the field. So I like that nickname. I'm, I'm going to try to keep that nickname up, man. I like, I like that one, yeah. I uh, was uh, watching you play basketball last week, and I thought, wow, boy, that for a guy who's had some knee problems, man, he looks like he's flying around pretty good. So I yeah. guess everybody kind of was wondering, how's Nate's knee doing? Yeah, it's going pretty good, man. I've been ahead of schedule um, ever since I had my surgery. I didn't have any other damage in my knee. It was strictly ACL. So um, that has helped me, you know, at the end of my rehab. Um, but, you know, it's going good. I actually finished uh, this last OTAs, the last three days out there on the field. I went through the whole practice, didn't take any reps off um, and, and it's going good there's times when I'm at, a, at 100% speed and I can feel like I'm the Nate Burleson of old and then there's times when I can feel the fatigue of just getting used to running again and putting right. it on the ground um, but but I know definitely um, with how things are going I stay up on my rehab and I continue to just go out there and, and be out there on the field uh, you know once season starts I'll be okay 
Again, it's Nate Burleson Foundation dot org. Yeah, it is yeah. definitely. And uh, you want to come see Nate and uh, the rest of his buddies from the Seahawks uh, play the apparently the police and the firefighters up there at Everett High School tomorrow. Tomorrow night, seven o'clock. Things get kicked off. Twenty five dollar donation if you want a picture and autographs. But if you want to come watch the game, that's free, and you can't beat wow. that. The BJ Shea Morning Experience on ninety nine point nine KISW. Ocho. <laughs> Uno.